Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Ready for another video. Today I need to reintroduce my sister. How you doing? Good. You doing good? You excited for this video? Yeah. <laughs> Pat me on the back. Alright, so ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell by today's video, we are... Why did you tell me? Literally told you like 30 seconds ago. You don't know what we're doing. We are playing... Pokemon? <sighs> yeah, yeah, we're playing Pokemon Go. What else? We're catching rare Pokemon? That's what we're doing. So you've got it, see? Give me some. Um, so today we are teaching you guys how to teleport to any Pokemon, any legendary Pokemon. Well, they're not really legendary, but any rare Pokemon in Pokemon Go that you haven't got on your Pokedex I'm going to teach you guys a way to teleport there and to catch it instantaneously. If you guys like videos like this with my sister, please be sure to smack a like on this video and put a comment in the comment section down below saying what other videos do you want me and her to do. Alright, without further ado, let's do this. Let's do this. Alright. So as you guys can see right now, we are in Pokemon Go. I've got my phone. It's recording it. It's going to be over here. Uh, it should be pretty good, right? I had to teleport to a place that's not so laggy. Right now, I have a teleport app, and I'll put a link in the description of a video of how to install it, as well as uh, the Pokemon Snipe website. It's called Pokey Snipers, but basically, if you get this app, you can bring up this menu up here uh, and hit teleport. So if we hit teleport, all right, so we're going to teleport to a Mr. Mime right now, and the number is Ella. Five, nine. Yeah. Point nine, two, zero. Nine, two, zero. All right, so you basically pick coordinates on this website and they disappear fairly quick. But once you click it, with if, uh, if you install the app that I have right now, it says tips, you are going to move 16,000 kilometers in zero seconds. So I'm basically gonna move 16,000 kilometers a second, which will ban you. I will 100%, we are getting soft banned in this. Actually, to teleport here, I've already been soft banned, but I'll teach you guys how to deal with the soft ban. <laughs> So I teleported right now, and right now I'm just gonna chill, and you can see that the Mr. Mime has appeared. I click the Mr. Mime, and before you do anything, you don't, what, you think he's a little creepy? Oh, yeah. He's weird, hey? It's the first time I've ever caught this guy. He's dancing around a little bit. But uh, if you guys do anything, if you throw a Pokeball, you try to catch him right now, you will be soft banned, and you will, uh, he'll escape the, the Pokeball, first of all, and he will run away instantly. That means you're soft banned, you have to wait uh, usually a few hours every time you teleport and you try to do, like try to catch another Pokemon or you try uh, to hit a Pokestop or a gym, you will get soft banned if you've teleported. So you need to make sure that once you pick them up in this new location, get to the, to the capturing screen and then you're gonna wanna tap teleport, select and go back to uh, wherever you were. I was, I believe here. Now you can set this to wherever you want. I'm just using the defaults for this app. Um, it's somewhere in, so I had to go to a place that wasn't too laggy, but the default on this app used to be a Dratini nest, and now it's a Magikarp nest somewhere in San Francisco. So he's a level 620 right now. We're gonna take this a little bit serious. We're gonna go ahead and hit him with the raspberry. You following along though? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We're gonna get the Pokeball out. Oh, he's gonna dodge, he's gonna dodge, he attacked, he attacked, we're gonna go for it. We hit him with the Ultra Ball, we've got one candy in there right now. Come on. Give this to me, give this to me, Mr. Mime! There it is. There it is, a level 620 Mr. Mime, and it's the first one I've ever caught. And how long did that take us? Two minutes. Two minutes, like no more than two minutes. And like I said, just looking on the screen right now of stuff that you can capture. Oh, this guy's beast, he looks crazy, Mr. Mime. That's actually pretty hype. I am excited and hyped about that. Right now, if I look on the screen to see what type of Pokemon there are, I believe you can filter it from uh, common Pokemon to medium Pokemon to rare Pokemon, and there is a premium version if, uh, if that is something that interests you. I haven't personally picked it up yet, but right now, the Pokemon that you can catch, and you can refresh and scroll down as much as you can, every time a new rare Pokemon comes in, it just pops up at the top of the list. I might include a screenshot of what it looks like, but right now, there's uh, Ex Executor, there's Slowbro, Mr. Mime, Kangaskhan, Haunter, Muck, another Kangaskhan, a Hitmontee, a Slowbro, all of that stuff. There's a Charmander, there's a Blastoise, 
There is all of the EV evolutions, anything you guys want. Just literally all you have to do is sit here and wait for something cool to, uh, to pop up. So we're going to try one more, Ella. I'm going to let you pick any Pokemon that looks cool on this list right now, and we're going to teleport to them. Okay. All right, a Porygon has just uh, popped up. Ella, what is the coordinates? Negative six. All right, we actually did miss a Porygon, which I was a little bit sad about, but I'm sure another one will pop up very, very soon. So the next thing we're going to go to is, you remember what it was called, though? A Dragonite. A Dragonite, which I haven't got this guy. I got through the Dratini, but I haven't gotten the Dragonite yet. Ella, what is the coordinates? All right, ladies and gentlemen, teleporting right now. It's going to teleport me 16 thousand kilometers within a second that's quite a bit mm -hmm. how long would it take you to run 16,000 kilometers you think a day and a night a day and a night if you could you would be that would be amazing all right we're teleporting right now hopefully we get an aerodactyl i've been having a little bit of trouble my phone i actually have a uh, an ice pack here that i'm setting my phone on because oh there he is there he is my phone gets so hot though that I actually have to set it on an ice pack. Otherwise it gets so hot and so laggy that it won't even do anything. This guy's 1300. Oh my God, this is probably one of my best Pokemon so far. We are gonna grab the Ultra Ball and we're gonna wait. Oh, he bashed it away. All right, there he is. He is in the ball. I don't think this is gonna work though. No, he escaped. Uh, hopefully, he... oh, see I'm bad. Oh, it's cause I forgot to teleport home. <sighs> And ladies and gentlemen, that is a noob move. I forgot the number one rule, and that was you have to teleport home. Right now, if I spin this thing, there's obviously nothing. So the way to get, I am banned right now. There is no other way to look at it other than I am completely banned right now. So the only way to get unbanned is to literally go in, swipe, and out. And in, and swipe, and out. You need to do that 40 to 50 times. And once you do, uh, you will know that you're unbanned because it will turn purple, it will give you your items, and the second that it gives you your items, you are unbanned. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, teleport back. Actually, I should probably teleport back and then start doing that. And then we will catch one more Pokemon, and then we should be good. All right, and there we go. You guys just saw it, but I was going in and out of that Pokestop for what? Five minutes, two minutes, three minutes? 20 minutes. Not 20 minutes. Well, it seems like it's, that. It seemed like 20 minutes, but it was definitely not 20 minutes. It was only like two or three minutes. And usually it's like a three or a four hour ban. So that's an easy way to get, get out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, if you guys get banned or soft banned on Pokemon Go, the easiest thing is just go in and out of Pokestops. Go in a Pokestop, spin it once, X back out. In, spin it once, and then back out. Super easy, takes two minutes, and then you're fine. Now. I'm completely fine. I will not get banned unless I mess up again. All right, so we're gonna go on for the next one. All right, that one didn't work. We are teleporting to hopefully a Dragonite right now. I will be super hyped if we do get this Dragonite again. There he is. There he is. First one I've ever gotten. We're gonna click him. And what is the first thing that we're gonna do, Ella? Grab a Pokeball. No, we no. You want? You would have done it too. We would have got banned. We gotta teleport all the way home, which is right. And now that we move home, we can capture him because he is at our location right now where we began. All right, we're gonna use this thing right now. We're gonna start off with the raspberry. I need to get the ice pack ready. It's starting to get hot again, but we're gonna start off with the ultra ball. We're gonna go ahead and give it a swipe. Oh, this guy is, he's red. He is very red and the circle is very small. This is gonna take a little bit of skill. First try, we got him with the Ultra Ball and the Berry. Give me some. There it is, Noggin. We got 100 a <laughs> Sorry, is your head all right? 100 XP for catching the Pokemon. We got 500 XP, the new Pokemon added to the Pokedex, and of course the 10 for that fat curveball. Registering the Dragonite to the Pokedex right now, 1755! Oh my lord. Okay, Ella, do you realize what just happened? We got a 1755. Look at how big he is. My highest right now is a 1400. The fact that we just got 1700, I am super pumped. Definitely the strongest Pokemon I have right now and I'm definitely not gonna let this guy go anytime soon. All right, the last one that we are going to catch today is hopefully a fat Snorlax, please. I am gonna be super pumped if we do get him. Hopefully, hopefully, there's an Execute here. There he is, he did appear. And his number is 764, which is not that big. 
but that is okay. We're gonna teleport home. Make sure the first thing you do is you always teleport home. That Snorlax is huge, I know. Uh, all right, there it is. We will teleport home. We will move. Now we're gonna go ahead and use a raspberry because we have lots. And we are gonna use, we don't have to use an ultra ball. We use a great ball. Oh, we're not gonna get rid of them. Use the great ball, throw that. Oh, I missed. All right, we caught, oh, he got away, he got away. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use another raspberry with another great ball. All right, we are going to use another like that. All right, oh, we got him. Okay, okay, hopefully, hopefully we get him. If we get him right here, I'm quitting. Oh my God, okay, never mind. We are going to another raspberry and we're moving up to the ultra ball. Some of these Pokemon is kind of like a stage or a tier thing. Four or five raspberries in there. So that's four or five turns, you know you're wasting Pokeballs. So you might as well use a normal Pokeball and a raspberry for three turns and then start working your way out from the Great Ball. And now we are on to the Ultra Ball. I didn't stick to the strategy too much, but I got a decent hit on him there. Hopefully, the Ultra Ball, nobody ever escapes. It's very rare. I think this guy should go in without any worry. And there it is, we got 600 XP in total. We got this Snorlax, which I'm super pumped about. I've never had a Snorlax before, and there you go. 765 is the biggest we've got. I wanna check out the Pokemon quickly. If we go to Pokemon and sort by CP, by combat power, you can see that, look it, we got my 1755 Dragonite up there right now. Then we got a 1405 Vaporeon, we got a 1302 Golduck, and then some 12s, 11s, and 10s. There it is, we are getting closer and closer to that 2K mark every single day. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Please drop a like and a comment for Ella. Tell her that she did a good job in the video reading out the, uh, the numbers and the coordinates and stuff. If you guys wanna do this Pokemon hack for yourself, please comment or please try it. The links are in the description below. There's two of them. One is the Poke Snipers, and the other one is how to install this Pokemon hack itself. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.